Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace and peace to you today. Thanks for joining us for a COVID-19 update. It's Tuesday, June 23rd. Um, and some important and, and I think exciting news uh, for the worship life of our congregation. Our church council met on June 16th and at the recommendation of your pastors and much discussion amongst the council, we've decided to um, move forward with uh, additional in-person worship services at Good Shepherd in the month of July. In case you haven't already noticed this, we're taking this very slowly and gently in order to ensure safe and um, um, clean facilities in which we can gather for worship together as the body of Christ. So beginning July 1st, our worship schedule is going to shift just a little bit from what it was in June. There will be two additional in-person weekend worship services added to our weekly schedule. We'll gather for worship in the sanctuary on Saturdays at 5 p.m. for a traditional worship service and Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. for a contemporary worship service. It's important to note that this, the worship times held in the sanctuary will be limited. Um, attendance will be limited as we want to make sure that we provide a safe place for us to gather for worship. Um, and so uh, thank you for your patience in that as we continue to explore what this looks like in a healthy and safe way. Again, also in the month of July, we'll continue with the shepherd's table, but it'll only meet one day a week. So rather than meeting on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays as it was in June, the shepherd's table will meet only on Mondays at 1210 um, in the month of July. This is also held in the sanctuary. It's 30 minutes of quiet scripture readings, confession and forgiveness, prayer, and a time to celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion. We'll also continue to worship in the park in July. That's been a great blessing in the month of June. And so gather with us at Lions Hillside Park, shelter number two, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. It's been an absolutely fantastic time so far this summer. And then finally, our digital campus, our online worshiping community will continue. And I think that that's going to continue well into the future. We'll continue with that as uh, a worship service will be live on Sunday mornings at 8.30 a.m. We're going to mix that up a little bit. So one week it'll be a little more led by worship teams and contemporary music. Next week it'll be uh, led by organ and piano and more traditional hymns and liturgy. Um, and some weeks it'll be a combination of all of that because that's part of the worship life that we share together as a community of faith for which we can give God thanks and praise. And so that kind of sums it up, what worship is going to look like. Um, as as is uh, probably expected, because we're returning to more in-person worship services, we have more opportunities in which we need help uh, as communion assistants, as ushers and greeters, as uh, liturgical readers, uh, those kinds of things. So go to the Get Involved page of our website and there's going to be a sign up section there that you can um, log into and take a look at and um, that'll get you connected to how you can help us in, in as we begin to implement and um, come back together a little bit more with in-person worship. Okay, just to recap real quickly, in-person worship in July, uh, a traditional worship service in the sanctuary will be held on Saturdays at 5. A contemporary worship service in the sanctuary will be held on Sundays at 10 a.m. Our digital campus will continue with worship on Sundays at 8.30 a.m. The Shepherd's Table, uh, prayer group, prayer uh, time, and short worship service, brief worship service will be on Mondays at 12.10 p.m. in the sanctuary. And then worship in the park will continue on Wednesdays at 6.30 in Lions Hillside Park. As always, check the COVID updates page if you have any questions or want to make sure that, uh, you know, where things are at, when they're happening and how they're happening. And thank you for your continued support of the ministry and mission that God is doing through our congregations. Many are blessed because of you. And um, we give thanks that we get to walk through and in this journey together as brothers and sisters of Good Shepherd. Take care and uh, we'll see you soon.